It's not only about playing, but it's about creating. Till now, you all must have played this kind of pong game in which a bouncing ball is supposed not to hit the red line. But today we are going to create this game. So let's go and have a look. Let's get started with a blank project over scratch. The link for this page is given in the description below. Just have a look. You can click over that link and you can reach to this page. This is a blank new project. See, I have even not signed in and without signing in even we can make a or create a new project. So let's get started. You need to close the extra tabs that are given here. And you can start up with removing this sprite. This is the sprite of a cat that is originally given. So now I'm having a completely blank project. What I need to do is first of all, let us add some of the sprites that we need. So for this game, we need some sprite like a kind of ball. So first of all, I'm adding one ball here. And then I need some kind of lines for making the game. So I am looking for some suitable line. Okay, I got one red line which I can use as the baseline. I am adding one more line and let us have a look at this kind of paddle. So I am using one paddle. This will make my game complete. I do need some kind of backdrop. You can choose any kind of backdrop that you wish for as uh, for example if you want to choose some stripes or some star or some bricks so there are many different backdrops i'm choosing a neon tunnel it will also look nice if you want to change you can just have a look at some other attractive background based on the thing that you want to create so any kind of background you can choose here. Now next comes out the coding part. So let's have a look at what you have to do in the coding part. So in the first part we need to add a backdrop. After that we need to add a ball sprite. Then we can add the coding for that for bouncing it around as shown over here and in the next part we can add a petal that is the green strip. Then we can code for moving the petal along with the mouse. So we need to set X of this petal to move along the mouse. Then we need to select the ball sprite. So that we can code for it and its coding is shown here then we can code for a variable we need to take a new variable and then we can just add it how to add we can add score over this variable this is a new thing that we are going to do here we are going to add score by taking a variable and scores will be changed as the ball is going to touch the green paddle. In the next part, whenever we are going to click over the green flag, the scores will get zero. Or we can say we can rest the score. Now we need to line up by adding the red line. And in the next part, we need to put the game over. So whenever there will be the touch of ball with the red line we need to now for the coding of ball so whenever you want to code for any particular sprite you need to click over that sprite i'm clicking over ball and let me tell you that what all things i need to code here first of all i want that whenever the green flag is clicked, that means whenever we are going to start our game, we want that the direction should be 45 degrees. So I am setting the direction of this ball as 45 because we want this ball to hit at different directions. So 45 will suit it best. Now I want a loop here that forever 
move 15 steps i want this ball to move 15 steps and if it is on edge edge means the boundary of this uh, playing area game area so if it is on back uh, edge then it should bounce back the next thing that i want here is that again when the game is going to start when we are going to click the green flag then if it is touching the pedal now you should know that this green line is the pedal if it is touching the pedal then we want the score to get changed by one and it should turn around 180 degrees for example the ball is coming from this side it should turn like that and move 15 steps then after waiting for some time it should repeat the same also we need to set score to zero let's have a look at the paddle part so if we are going to click on the green paddle we will get the coding for that that when green paddle is clicked then we need to set the mouse to x so wherever our mouse is there will be this green paddle it will move along with our mouse also we need to code for this part that is whenever green flag is clicked then if red line is going to touch the ball then stop all everything will get stopped and the game will be over even we can add one more screen that game over we can add that also it's also easy but let us start with this one so as i'm going to complete this and i'm going to click over the green Part, then what will happen the game is going to start and we can play it but as soon as it is going to touch the red line everything will get stopped 